For centuries, all kinds of block revetments have been used in the Netherlands to protect the dikes against wave action from the sea. In that long tradition, a vast amount of experience has been gained in the behavior of these structures during moderate and heavy storms. However, what will happen to these dikes during extreme storm conditions? What will happen to a block revetment during wave circumstances that still go beyond our experience? To answer this question, the Road and Hydraulic Engineering Division of Rijkswaterstaat in the Netherlands has commissioned Delft Hydraulics and Delft Geotechnics to set up and carry out a research program. In the past few years, several physical scale models have been constructed to investigate the behavior of all kinds of block revetments in all kinds of different wave conditions. Most of the scale models have been constructed in the large wave flume called the delta flume. To obtain a good insight, in the process, instruments were placed inside the revetment to measure the wave pressures. All measurements from the model tests were sampled by computer. From the outcome of the calculations, plots have been made. And by filming all plots of one wave cycle, it becomes visible that when the wave runs down on the revetment, the external wave pressure lowers faster than the pore pressure in the filter layer. As a result, the uplift pressure over the cover layer, shown in the middle, will be larger. Just before the wave smashes onto the revetment, the difference in wave pressure and pore pressure shows a large peak in the uplift pressure. In the large scale model, this peak causes the block to move out of the revetment. Recently, a computer code has been developed able to simulate pressure loadings on a revetment. From the wave pressures measured in the physical scale model, it is possible to calculate the pore pressures in the filter layer. The resulting uplift pressures are determined and shown if larger than those corresponding with the weight of the blocks. Knowing the pressure loading on the block, the movement is calculated for a block lying loose in the revetment. The large-scale model tests were used as a reference to verify the numerical model. The results of the computer model were compared with the outcome of the scale models. The computer model shows that during wave rundown, the wave pressure on the revetment, shown as black, becomes smaller and smaller. Near the point of maximum rundown, the uplift pressure, shown here as gray, is a bit higher than the pressure that corresponds with the weight of the blocks. Then, the next wave smashes onto the revetment resulting in a large peak in the wave pressure. The wave run-up leads to an overtopping of the revetment. High-speed film exposures in the small-scale model show a wave smashing onto the revetment. But even in slow motion, it is not possible to see which mechanism causes the block to move out of the revetment. By using the computer model, it is possible to show the reasons for block movement. The new incoming wave causes a pressure peak. On both sides of this peak, the wave pressure remains low. Then two zones with a relatively high wave pressure 
become visible. These high wave pressures are transmitted to the filter layer, resulting in high uplift pressures just between the two wave pressure zones. In the physical model tests, not only blocks of different sizes have been tested, also the permeability of the revetments were the subjects of an investigation. With this computer code, it is possible to show the difference between two revetment designs. The left revetment is a structure with increased permeability of the blocks. The right one is the reference structure as shown before. For both structures, the uplift pressures during wave rundown remain low. The peaks from the new incoming waves are shown. From this computer simulation, it becomes clear that for a revetment with increased permeability, shown here at the left, the number of blocks that actually move becomes much smaller. Some years ago, the evolution of existing dikes or the design of new ones was only possible on the basis of experience or by executing large-scale model tests. However, no insight was available into the failure mechanisms of block revetments. With the computer code, a valuable tool has been developed to investigate the behavior of block revetments in extreme conditions of wave attack. <laughs> 